The story is set in 18th century Cornwall, where we find our romantic hero, Ross Poldock, returning from the Americas after fighting in the Revolutionary War, only to find his old life in tatters, his farm in ruins, his estate in debt, and his childhood sweetheart engaged to marry his cousin. Ross is a young man at odds with himself, the world, and his own class. Picking up the pieces of his life, he recklessly marries his kitchen servant girl, Demelza, an urchin that he rescues from the gutter. In the old series created 40 years ago, he does this out of some sense of reckless honor and responsibility after finding out that she's carrying his child. In the new series, he just marries her, and we're not clear on what his thinking is here or what his motivation could be. Whereas the new pole dark Aidan Turner is most certainly broodingly handsome and gorgeous to look at, we just don't get a clear understanding of his alienation and inner turmoil that Robin Ellis in his portrayal of Paul Dark was able to clearly bring to the screen. Demelza, played by the late Angara Dries, brought a feisty, earthy, common-sense quality to her role. We can see her deep, abiding love for Ross and how he grows to love and depend on her. This quickly becomes evident early on by episode 3. Not so with Eleanor Tomlinson. Other than her rock star quality admiration for Ross, we're really not sure or clear on what her motives, what motivates her character, and we still don't know what it is that makes her tick. And there lies the essential difference between the two series. While series one is more stagey and theatrical in its presentation, it did have an abundance of thespian supporting actors that brought brilliant, outstanding performances again and again that helped to venerate the first series. In the old series, Francis is portrayed as this insecure failure, full of angst and self-loathing, and we're continuously reminded as to just how inferior he feels um, being so much in Ross's shadow. The new Francis, played by Carl Soler, to me is just insipid and wishy-washy. Judd, the worthless drunken servant, in the first series was portrayed as a Falstaffian bawdy drunk. Judd in the new series is really quite insignificant and unimportant, and it seems like Phil Davis, the actor, is just bland and colorless and lacks vibrancy and energy. And what of the upstart industrialist banker, George Warlegan, Ross's nemesis? No one can do tortured paranoid jealousy and envy like the late Ralph Bates. We despise him, we hate him, but we have pity for him because of his torturous insecurity, his personal suffering and sense of inadequacy. The new Warleg and played by Jack Farthing, to me has yet to find his bearings. He brings this, oh please, 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 Ross, won't you like me, please be my friend, quality to the role that is so insipid, there's just no energy fueling the vendetta between these two characters, and we are at a loss as to figure out what is their argument and hatred of each other all about.
The BBC has always tried to capture the audience's fascination with historical period dramas. Earlier this year, six to seven million people in Britain watched the new Poldark season finale. For me, the newest series seems to be testing the waters and trying to gauge the audience's response to this beautiful Cornish saga. Whether the new Poldark can outdo its 1975-1978 predecessor remains to be seen. For me, the older version of Poldark will always be the quintessential production. But we will wait to see what Series 2 of the new Poldark has to offer, and whether they continue on with the saga of the next generation as there is so much more to this Winston Graham Cornish story. But for now, I leave you and I tease you with this very fine picture of the new Ross Poldark. Feel free to let me know what you think. Be kind and visit my website, Empowered Solutions or any of my other videos that you see below. I'm Veronica, and this has been my comparison review of the 1975-1978 and 2015 versions of Winston Graham's Cornish historical saga, Poldark.